Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips, and in this uh, tutorial, I'll be uh, demonstrating the polyhedra extension within Inkscape. So let me pair things back from this, delete the background, and we'll delete the shapes. Now, to get a polyhedra, simply go to Extensions, Render, and it's not under P, it's under 3D Polyhedron and there are different settings here. First of all you can choose the type of uh, Archimedean polyhedra. I've got it set on truncated icosahedron, the soccer ball model and I'll leave these settings as they are and under view there are different sort of rotation angles. It's a matter of playing around with these I only use the first uh, three and uh, play around with them till you uh, get what you like where well, you can't see what's there so click live preview and you can see there's the uh, polyhedra you can see if I uh, type in say a 30 degree rotation in the X direction press enter you can rotate the polyhedra around a bit I control Z to well, get back and under style you can affect the uh, colours. So I've combined red and green to produce a yellow shade. If I wanted to put in you know, 50 of blue, enter. Didn't make much difference. Try 100. Yeah, it's really not uh, helping too much, is it? Try 200. And uh, that's uh, really washed out. If I wipe out, say, the green, put it a zero, get a different combination. It's a matter of uh, trial and error, or if you know a bit more about colour mixture than I do, you might get there more efficiently. The shading provides a shadow. You can see I've got a shadow going from light to dark in the X direction and light to dark in the Y direction. It's the 10% uh, darkening, I guess it is. So we go across. In the Z direction, I've got the opposite uh, a negative if I go to a uh, positive 10 for that, that you see you get quite a different effect so again it's a matter of probably trial and error and uh, see what you like once you're happy click apply and close and if you want to change the colors it's the same as you can see each um, each face well, I can't get the faces yet, they're grouped, so I'll go select the polyhedra and control U to ungroup. And each face, if I control D to duplicate that, is the one shade throughout. There's no gradient fill or anything, it's just each face is treated separately. Delete that. So if you wanted to uh, change a face, just a matter of clicking on it. And under the fill style, you can uh, darken things a bit if you if you wish. For example, that. Um, that would be a yellow face also, but it would be a bit darker than that so I can you know, adjust that manually if I do the same with the shift click to select the other yellow faces and click yellow then it's just a matter of perhaps darkening that one a little bit that one I might leave that one I might leave, this one I might make a little bit darker and so forth, so you can get some quite good effects. I don't mind uh, taking the stroke style down to nothing. You can either dial it down there or shift click this cross here and we get no stroke and that's quite an effective uh, shape as well. I'm going to put the stroke back, shift click black or whatever. You can uh, increase it to uh, whatever you want. You can get some quite good effects. Once you're happy, perhaps select it all, control G to regroup, and you know, if you want to uh, copy it, control D to duplicate and then drag a copy away, and uh, you can get lots of polyhedra and produce quite a nice little poster there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. Thanks again for watching.